everybody welcome back to another tutorial uh so it has come to my attention of me literally just testing two seconds ago that the little script i edited in the last episode just completely doesn't work at all i have no clue what i was thinking anyways but um yeah just go ahead and you know unedit that maybe start up a whole new place or something you know, once again, I'll put the place we used in the description link to it. Anyways, but in today's episode, we're going to be making props and objects. Also, I'm kind of running out of ideas, so please comment what you want me to do. Alright, so what this kind person has already provided to us is grabbable objects, or the ability to make objects grabbable, such as these two examples. Objects, that, just like from the other one, objects that we can push around and move, objects that, you know, and also a button. Yeah, this button is pretty, pretty sweet button. Anyways, but in today, we are going to be making different tools and props. You know, one cool thing that VR hands games and stuff have are basketballs and basketball hoops, so, uh, yeah, here's how to make one of those. Just make any sort of basketball hoop design, and I'll show you how to do that. So here's just me making my design. So, uh, yeah, that's this my design. It's pretty, pretty professional. So, just a quick thing before we get started. Uh, I can also make other tutorials besides VR tutorials. Um, so comment but it can still be VR tutorials since I know uh, you know you all like this all right so first things first we're gonna make a part and we're just gonna fit it right to the hoop this will be the hitbox so like this will be what so I recommend kind of making it a little smaller such as like this and this has to have can collide off because this will be invisible so you know what, I'll just make it invisible right now. Make sure it's anchored. And do that. It'll just fit it. I'm gonna put mine a little bit down. Put it down a little bit. And there we go. Something I would like to present to you. The basketball I've spent many years making. Many hours hard worked. The textures are photorealistic and beautiful present to you the basketball that I made see it's really good anyways um but anything works any part works as it can be can work as a basketball as long as it is not grouped and um yeah just make sure that it's not grouped so here there's not nothing grouped in this it's just plain old basketball, you know, and yeah, right now if we test it, which I'm not gonna, but nothing will happen, so yeah, let's make something happen, so we're gonna name our basketball, we're gonna name it Basketball, wow, what an original name, anyways, um, but now we're gonna come over to our hitbox over here, and we're gonna insert a script. I'm just gonna say script up here and dot touched connects to oh, function. Then there. Now we're gonna put part. So basically, what this does is, if you don't know, right, anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do if part equals equals game dot workspace first child basketball. Or whatever you named it, just make sure it's that. So now it's gonna check if it is that. And if it is, we're gonna go ahead and do something cool. Alright, um, so for an example, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know, you can really make it do anything you want, but for our, our basketball hoop, we're just gonna add little thing onto it right here literally just came up with this idea really cool put this right here 
we're gonna put a surface UI a text label oh there we go and basically what I'm gonna do is mine is going to be every time that you make it it'll this will say how many times it's been scored um, and there we go Now, you could make it do some sort of confetti or something like the other games, but, um, you know, I'm not the, I'm not exactly an effects guy, so, yeah, I don't do that kind of stuff. Anyways, now we're gonna, that, beautiful font, uh, that, okay, we'll just go with that font. Now we're going to add a value into this. It's going to be a number value. And uh, we're going to go ahead and name that scores. Sc scrolls. Scores. There we go. Now we're going to add one more script into this. Well, wait. Do. Um, script up parent text equals. Oh my gosh. Why do I keep spelling it that way? Scores. Dot dot. Script up parent dot parent. Parent has scores dot value, and there. Now, if we were to go ahead and hit play, it would say scores zero because right now it's just set to zero. But right now, nothing would happen if the basketball made it in. So we're gonna make that happen. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna do. Oh, I actually, should probably name this first. Basket score. Basket score. There. Now, now, wrong script. Now we're gonna go back into the hitbox script. Let's go ahead and name this thing hitbox. And we are going to do game dot workspace dot basket score dot surface. Oh, not dot scores dot value equals game dot workspace dot basket basket score dot scores dot value plus one so basically what the script does is whenever something touches it it's gonna say it it's gonna check to see what it was and then um it's gonna and it so whatever it was it's gonna ask a is part the basketball and if it is then it's gonna come here and it's gonna go set the score to the same exact value that the score already is but this time we're gonna add one to that value so uh yeah now this should work quick steps before we test make sure you put the ball in the can grab folder edit your script to make it go game.workspace find first trial can grab find first trial basketball and then that'll be good now let's test Tendency to run away. Hang on. Look, it works. Look. Look. No, 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 no. Okay, let me try and cheat the system here. Oop. Oop. Oh no, that doesn't work. Haha. -ha. Little cheaters, but they can still do this. Just drop it in. Yeah. It works. Now we're going to make a lightsaber or some sort of weapon to damage the players. Now this, right here, is going to be the handle. And, you know, do this. Oh, by the way, I don't mean lightsaber, I mean, um, uh, light blade. We'll say that. So just make it, uh, I don't know. Make it look a little cooler if it was green. Okay, anyways, so now, we're just going to take these two things, since we actually cannot have, you know, this so-called model. I'm going to try and cheat the system here. Put a part, set a part. You know, we're going to love them. 
Weld. And all right, basically you can just put parts inside of parts instead of making models. And it works. Just tested it now. Yes. Alright. Alright, so for this part, I forgot to put my mic in, or to, um, turn on my mic again, so I, yeah. Anyway, so just put a giant invisible plate with can collide off under your map, then you're gonna put this script in it. This will just help the parts and stuff respawn after a player, you know, throws them off of the map or something. Just put, so just make it gigantic part thing under the map and just put the script and yeah you got yourself a nice respawn it was yeah just insert the script and um, you know while you're copying down that script might as well talk to you uh so make sure you really comment what you want me to do because you know i need ideas remember it doesn't have to be vr hands related or all that anything anything you know and, uh, yeah, it looks like we're just about done here. See ya. My voice didn't record here either. Hooray. Wow. Exciting. So here's a voiceover. So, I'm gonna take the blade, and we're gonna insert a script. I'm gonna script up here and touched. We're gonna put in connect. Oh, typo. We're gonna put in connect function. Then we're gonna type part right there. Now, if part dot parent find first child humanoid, capital H, need to do that, then um, just part dot parent find first child or part dot parent find first child humanoid dot health equals zero, which will then kill the player. And uh there you go. Now you got yourself a nice light sword. You're not a lightsaber, totally not. But uh yeah. It's pretty cool. And yeah, my this non editing me is about to talk to you now, so on to non editing. Anyway, anyways, this might not work until you drop the item on to someone, which is not all that bad, but yeah. Anyways, but that's all for today. We're gonna do some more stuff in the next episodes, all that stuff, and we will see you guys next one. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey, like and subscribe so I'll make more videos. Also comment what you want me to do in the next videos, because that would be cool. Alright, I'll see you next time.